Hey guys, we're back with Everlasting Summer Part 23. We're nearing, not really that close, but you know, we're getting closer to the end of Lenin's Yacht. So, um, yeah, we're trying to make a cake right now. So, you know, we're going on a fetch quest. You know, we got the flour and the yeast. We're doing cook's assistant. We got the flour and the milk, and now we need to get the sugar, the, um, the eggs. So we gotta go to the the chicken coop in um the bell. G what? I haven't done cook six in forever. <laughs> Robot. <gasps> man, man. My my voice is still hurting, but I had to do that. Look at it. This is where dreams are made. <laughs> they were so busy that they didn't even notice me. What's with the cock? I look closely. It was some kind of robot, or at least a body of it. Boy, so this robot was female and that it WAIT A SECOND! Cat girl, cat. Something, something special. I don't want to, I don't want to make up theories about purposes of such a device for luminaries of camp cybernetics. Even though the design looked practically workable, I had my doubts about this robot to ever conquer Earth, or at least be able to do something on its own. Um, but they seem to be enjoying the process more than the end result itself. So, you know, as long as they're having fun making your robot cat girl, what's the problem? And it, it was something we shared, even though I didn't want to admit it. On that hand, they weren't afraid of possible failure. Good sense of your jokes. They were working towards their goal without paying attention to others. We could call it unrealistic or even absurd. Or well, it looks like I'm truly comparing them to luminaries. Am I pronouncing luminaries of science? Hey guys! I greeted them uncertainly. I'm here for your sugar! Give me the sugar. Oh, Semyon, come in. We've, we're always glad to see you. I actually was in already. You know? Sorry for what happened yesterday. I barely remember anything, but... Oh, never mind. It's okay. What led you to our, the humble abode of ours? <laughs> I need sugar! Electronic looked at me slightly. Sometimes I felt like you make such a face when you surely know something about the other person. Something you can use in the right moment. Sugar. I need sugar. Image from an ancient video game suddenly came to mind. Or some unit, like a builder or something, cried out loud from all, five, all its five pixel stature. Gold! We need more gold! We got it. What are these noises? <laughs> Said Electronic calmly. Why would you want it? I thought that I shouldn't explain to Shurik that they want to bake a cake for him. I shouldn't spoil the surprise. I don't know. Olga told me to get some. Okay, hang on. Electronic disappeared behind that door into the next room. Do room? Yeah. And why do you have sugar here? Why not in the canteen? When a food truck came last time, it was the last thing to unload. And given that our building is close to the engines, they decided to leave it here to save some effort. <laughs> it's reasonable, isn't it? <laughs> what, what about the, what about the flower in the light? <laughs> Why do they have a basement? The door has opened, revealing an electronic hauling a huge bag behind him. You know, I've never actually had a house with a basement. I've lived in, what, like three, four, maybe five different houses? But there's not that many um, basements in my state. Um, I think it has something to do with, like, the dirt, like, it's too dry, something like that, I don't know. I really didn't know what will be the size of the cake, but that was obviously too much sugar. Well, thanks, but I don't need it all. And, but where could we place it? You gave me a surprise look. We don't have a place for it. You asked for sugar, so take it. Seems that the previous smile of his wasn't there for out without a reason. Maybe you'll help me then? It's not too far to carry. We are busy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! He pointed his hand at the robot. I've gazed at Shurik. He held me in the end. He watched it and then looked away in shame. I said, took the bag and handed it to the door. Thanks anyways. Said I, parting, exerting myself. <laughs> Why must I do this? Well, I don't, I don't manage it too far. After a mere 20 meters, I had to put the bag down to have a rest. And then we meet Lena, right? Because we've met Alyssa, Slavia, oh, and Yoriana so far. So we're either going to meet Miku or Lena. Oh, or, oh, or, oh, or both. On the other hand, it was just 200 meters to the canteen. On the other hand, it was such a distance with this payload on my shoulder, or eventually my hands, or my legs, or under my arm, or even on my head, looked impossible for me to cover. And as I've set myself to move in minor sprints with prolonged pauses between them, so I could get there by night at least, I have heard a voice behind me. Maybe I could help you- YES! Lana! I saw Lana in front of me. I don't think you can. Oh wait, this is my jab! Two songs though, I haven't heard this one yet. It it was what 
Oh, it was one of those moments where I painfully felt my dramatic lack of good shape. I can bring a handcart. A handcart. Handcart? Are those the thing? Like, um, handcart. Oh, so, what are those called? Like, is that what those, those are called? Um, I guess. I don't actually know if, like, I think, I guess that's the name of them. They're like those things that, like, you, um, it's kind of like a wheelbarrow, but instead of, actually, it is, it is like a wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow. Except, like, there's a thing at, at front instead of, you know. So it's very similar to one. Whatever I thought about it myself. Yes, that would be great. Wait here, I'll be right back. Why? She smiled on me in the direction of the square. What could I do without her? It's good that Lana isn't always that shy and can take the initiative sometimes. I started to think. She seems quite unusual now. No trace of shyness on her face, it's actually completely opposite. Smile and confidence. The offer to help wasn't something extraordinary by itself, but getting it from Lana. A few minutes later, she came back with a smallish card. I put a bag down on it. Thanks. Don't mention it. She blushed and looked down. Oh, Lana. We all know it's back, so I'll go then. Yes, see you, and thank you again, and shout after her. Sometimes I felt like there are two different persons living inside of Lena. But the second one, confident... Wait, persons? It, like... Because I know you use persons on very few occasions, but... Um... Use of... Um... Like, I, I've seen persons used correctly, I guess? When do you use persons instead of people? I hope so. Um, uh, I don't know. Second one um, appears just when she talks to me. Or am I making it up again? I thought it would be better if I get all the ingredients at once, so I had a little August cabin with the hand guard. Finally, it seems like everything was collected. And now with this, we can get the Master Sword! You know, oh wait, we need the Ocarina of Time first. I got the- Oh wait, no, the Ocarina of Time are the strawberries, of course! I got the hand cart with sugar right side, and I put the sack with flour in it, followed by two baskets of strawberries to fit it somehow in between. And a beer was in under my sh the shirt, just in case, right? He- Wait, so I, instead of putting it in the- in the- in the, what's it called, hand cart? What's with the, yeah, um, I, I just put it underneath my shirt, uh, I, I don't understand, why? Why can't I just put it in the cart? The day was coming to its end, so I, I had to hurry as cake itself needed some time to be baked. Oh, I just got three texts in rapid succession, um, hold on, texting time. Um, Hold on, you know, the regular intermission, <laughs> whenever I need food because I haven't eaten in 12, 15 hours, I'm hungry. The day was, we have no food here. <laughs> the day was coming towards end, so I had to hurry as cake itself needs some time to be baked. Of course, I'd rather enjoy laying down, closing my eyes and getting a decent sleep, but I couldn't let Olga down. Olga out, here we go. Why isn't there an Olga out? Indeed, after we, all the troubles I haven't about my personal responsibility for the success of the cement. Coming to the square, I stopped for a moment to take a breath. It wasn't the cart that was heavy. It ran smoothly without any noticeable effort, efforts. Just any physical load caused pain to be now, both physical and moral one. I sat down on the bed and closed my eyes for a moment. What's that? I was really... I don't mean to care who it is. Who is it? Well, just a fellow pioneer girl who got into an unfamiliar companion in distress. What are you talking about? Asked her tiredly. She didn't reply. That's the ingredients for a cake. Do you like cakes? I don't know. Wait, you've never tried any cakes? I don't know. This is cat girl, right? I'm assuming. I realized the girl couldn't get what she was, I was talking about, but it didn't surprise me at that moment. I really wasn't interested in that conversation. I was so tired that I had zero intention to classify all ultra distractions and tag them either as con conventional or uncommon. I see. Come down to the canteen later and take a bite. Really? Really? What are they made of? What? Ask with indifference. These cakes. Well, some flour, some sugar, various fillings. That's a weird question. Am I am I allowed to say that word? I mean, even though it doesn't mean that. Like by allowed, I mean, will will anybody find an offense? Well, will not. Will ten percent of people find an offense if I say that? 
So that's one of those things you gotta be careful. Like one slip of the mouth and you're you're fired. You know? Does it because you know this is my job. I get, I get paid a glorious two dollars a month. If that doesn't she know what these cakes are made of? And you have it all here? Yeah, sort of. And sugar? And sugar. Can you lend me a little? For what for? I thought it was over the top. Setting it just when made me grab the garden stick and stick clean and open my eyes. However, nobody was here. Am I paid for you? Notice how that sugar stack was untied and a small heap of it was poured out. Could be that true scared by wind and ran away? Having the skin having the sack fixed, I got up from the bench to continue my challenging strawberry way. So is she invisible? I I don't know. Maybe she can move faster than time? <laughs> faster than time. <laughs> there wasn't a single person in the canteen. No wonder the di dinner was nearly an hour away. Right the handcart to the rear accident, ha handed the food stuffs to the food stuffs to the camp cook. She must have already told me what to do with them. And she gave me an unpleasant look. Um, I'm not sure how long it takes to bake a cake, but she had to hurry. It seems I just wanted to relax during the remaining time up to dinner. In short, I was so tired that I sat on footsteps just waiting. My my eyes closed themselves, so I guess I was so tired throughout the day that I didn't even notice when someone came and patted me on the shoulder. Hey, Miku. Hi. Miku was standing before me. Yeah. I don't need Amir to imagine an expression of skepticism. Step skepticism? And annoyance on my face. Oh, excuse me. I meant, must have interrupted you. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Miku. It's not like I'm trying to relax or anything. <laughs> no problem. I was just sitting here. Oh, Alright then, she shined with a smile. I was just coming to dinner. I thought that it's time already, and then it appeared to me that it's too early, so I must so I decided to just check just in case. Maybe it's not me who's mistaken, but the clock is. Well, not the clock. Clock's can't be mistaken. It's just that I've misread it. She sent me ultimately confused now, and that's what I said. Ooh, this is sketchy. It's still about half an hour before the dinner. Well, that's great. I'll just sit here and wait with you if you don't won't mind. Frankly speaking, I wouldn't mind. You know, I have some matters to attend to. Yeah, I have to go, um... You know, see ya. <laughs> I stood up quickly enough without saying goodbye and ignoring Miku, as I always did, while she was screaming something after me. Wow. I felt sad for Miku. <laughs> for getting her around next. A minute later, I got to swear and sat on the bench with the Furman engine of a quiet and safe place here to wait for dinner. I think at first, it's the first time since the last four and a half days that I felt myself like that. I just realized, I, one of these facts is red and the other two are green. It, is that significant? I, is that like a Russian symbol? I, I wasn't just irritated because of some in, insignificant details, but indeed, I was really, did I, did I skip a line? Nope. I should be really angry. I've completely stopped to, to care where I am and why I'm here. I don't care about how to get out either. What was driving me mad is that I always had to carry over some stupid task given by a camp leader, and it was always me who gets into stupid situations. Sometimes even ends up being a clown. And that is what it means to be the protagonist. <laughs> you get it? Because that's what that's what happens to protagonists. They they always you know get the short end of the stick. Oh if, oh oh okay. I got a text. It's like K. <laughs> what? <laughs> if all this was some alien tricks or a plot of the universal mind, they'd better consult with their psych psych psychiatrist. I go to my teeth and clutch my face. The most annoying thing is that everything that what happened seems to happen by itself somehow. I'd be happy not to, not to carry back the sugar weight waiting <laughs> weighing a good pound, but I had no choice at all. I mean, any other option would lead to a much worse consequences than a muscle strain or hurt bread. Who are you angry with? Hey, Oyana. Oyana was standing in front of me and smiling slightly. Is she gonna be the, um, the one-armed girl from Gata Sojo? Who, like, says cool stuff, but... Wait, she has her own girl, never mind. Nobody really. I ran through them suddenly. My fist gave me away. Just like that. Okay, okay, it's up to you. You better tell me why. Why did you run around the camp for the whole day with some kind of bags? I had to. I replied reluctantly. I guess it was food. Maybe it was. Yeah, I was about to say something. I thought the moment a bell sound came, calling pioneers to for the community. Sam and at least quickly headed to the canteen, leaving Oana behind. See ya. I still don't know if I'm pronouncing their names right. Um, Slavia, Lena, Oyana, and Alyssa. 
I, I'm just assuming I am. Santa, Samyon, thank you very much. For what? The camp leader gave me a friendly smile. For the cake, of course. Aw, oh, sure. It's that exact moment I understood the true meaning of the Evanidian. Keep your things to feed your cat. Huh? Keep your things to feed your cat. Never heard that one before. And Google hasn't heard that one before either. Is that a, I guess it's a Russian thing? You haven't told anybody? This ought to be a surprise. Yeah. That's my boy. Now, off you go to dinner. She waved her hand, pointing, pointing at the canteen. Oh boy. The same crowd as ever. Hi, Miku. Hi, Twin Tail Girl. Hi, typical Japanese school girl. Hi, everyone. Turned out there's plenty today, so I got a chance to eat all alone. There's fish with mashed, pot mashed potatoes for dinner. What a misfortune at once again. Misfortune. I'll end up half hungry. And we didn't. We, and didn't we have fish for lunch? Is it a fish only day today? Fish only day. Hey, having pushed a plate with fried seed boiler away, I laid my head on my back and closed my eyes. But soon somebody came to my table. Olga. Hey, what? Are you, oh, you're right, Slavia. I'm fine. I replied without changing my position. Just tired? Yeah, a little. That, that's bad. Slavia said it seriously. Of course. You remember that we're gonna hike after the dinner, don't you? Have you prepared everything? This is my eyes being closed and there's not an H thing going on. Because I, I did install the H things, but what if there's a problem with it? I mean, I, I did double check and everything, but you know, just in case. What? Where? Wait, what? A hike after dinner. Oh boy. I opened my eyes and lifted my head instantly. Lana was standing by Stalvia. The hike. She was surprised. Didn't you know? No. I don't get told about anything. I know nothing. I put my head down on the table and covered it with my hands. If only I could sink into the ground right away. The girls remained silent. I stayed alone with my thoughts for some time, and that was fine to me. Maybe I could sit that way until the end of dinner time, but a strong voice of Olga was heard at the opposite part of the canteen. Guys, to celebrate a miracle rescue of our friend and comrade Shurik, we baked a cake for you all, and she doesn't even mention my name. She just said we. I lifted my head idly and looked back towards the camp leader, but couldn't see anything behind pioneers' backs. A second, just a second. Nothing about me. Nothing about rescuing Shurik or gathering ingredients for the cake. As if that's how it ought to be. Well, what would be wrong to expect anything else from our camp leader? Let's go. Or we won't get all sh our share. The stuffy smile. Let's go. I don't I don't want to share. Yeah, sure. I got up with reluctance and tagged behind the girls. As we approached the pioneer crowd, Olga was just putting the cake on the table center. And now... Oh wow, CG! <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> the art style is always different with all the CG. Um, okay, so is that Olga? That's <laughs> Lena, <laughs> Alyssa, me, so Slavia and Miku are missing. Camp leader wasn't able to finish this Olga had rushed up in the Pioneer crowd and time for the cake. Wait, so th this small cake is for everyone. There's like a million Pioneers and they all, <laughs> they all get like, <laughs> they all get like a fourth of a slice. She managed to nibble a few times before she was pulled away. She was kicking and screaming. <laughs> I stared blankly from the outside of all the shamans. Smiling Alyssa, Lana then picked up some cream with her finger. All the furious pioneers around. I, I felt completely out of this place. I thought that if I closed my eyes down, open them again. Here I am, back to the safety of my apartment in front of a computer. <laughs> nope. I blinked, but nothing changed. Only the noise and the clutter became sharper. Oh, Yana, that's the limit! I... I just... One fact we have like this is a bit over the top even for her. Shrek has broken in the conversation. Or or the court marshal? Wait, what? Please, Olga. Hence the king is celebrating me. It's no big deal. Celebrating you? No, it's celebrating me! He hesitated. It doesn't matter. The camp leader turned to Olyana. And you. Today I'm going to prosecute you to the full existence so you will behave next time. Oh, <laughs> whatever. Oh, um, Olga Edgeworth. <laughs> Ace Attorney. She snorted and turned back. She won't be going for a hike with us tonight. As if I wanted to, I was more than willing to switch places to Goliana and skip the hike instead of her. But who knew? As if, if I would have guessed beforehand, I'd be the first one to go berserk and crush down that tank. <laughs> After a couple minutes of confusion, Pioneer started to dismiss. You have to get ready too. There'll be a land up at the square in half an hour. 
Australia the best camp leader. Training space make attitude in a non verbal way, but it seemed that I failed. Don't be late. Oriana was sitting at the table when I approached her on the way to the exit. So why did you do it? She looked very upset. Would you have a right to be so? I wanted to. She replied abruptly. That's a good reason. So you're happy now? Of course I am. Do you have good luck hiking? She smiled mischievously, sprang up and rushed out of the camp. <gasps> that was a trick! So she didn't have to go hiking! <sighs> she got us. Well, a bit of luck won't hurt. Walk and you shall reach. It's exactly is was is was is was exactly this pro proverb that was kept twirling in my head all the way down to the camp leader's cabin. Somehow I couldn't manage to oppose, to pretend that I'm sick or just skip it without a reason. Events of this day taught me submission, although sometimes whatever was happening made no sense to me. As I walked in, I've taken a thought. One well, fact: How should I get ready? Clothes? I only have an overcoat and a pair of jeans. Anyways, I've kind of asked her whether it's going to be an overnight hike or not. Couldn't think of anything better, so I grabbed a sweater that I had on me when I arrived on the camp. The night might might be fairly chilly. Of course, you know, it might be cold. Shuffled off after the uh, square slowly. All the camp was already there. I'm um, holding on. I, I want to look something up. It's not related to this, but um, I don't want to forget to look it up because it's something I need to know. Um, hold on. Um, how are you guys today? Um, you know, um, we're I'm doing pretty good myself. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That's good. I was looking up the date that I can do something. I thought it ended the first, but no, it ends 30, like, I thought it ended the 31st of this month, but it ends the 31st of next month. That's good. All the campers are there, although it was about 10 minutes up at, to the time designated by Olga. I stand near the edge and waited patiently. The night was falling. If we were to be looked at from the outside, what a fairly comical picture would be. A crowd of pioneers, lined up out of sheer habit, was like awaiting for a silent command from the ground skinner. You know, he almost died, but you know, Alyssa tried to kill him. And all this happening in the Scarlet Race of the Sunset. There he is waving his hand and giving a tack as roaring swordfish with red neckerchiefs, neckerchiefs, converging to the battle against the poster. <laughs> I can imagine, I can imagine us just fighting like a giant ghost. But Olga have, have shown, shown up and she is not concerned again. Since everybody's here, great. I'm so tired today that I couldn't even think about anything. So I started, ended up just listening to the camp leader. Now, today we'll go hiking. It is essential for every pioneer to be able to come and rescue his comrade. To offer a help again in the hour of pain, to saving him in a hopeless situation. We all have to learn to do all these things together. A whisper that ran through the pioneer crowd suggested that the most probably, probably, this truly epic expedition would end on a clearing in the forest, several hundred feet away from the square. Somehow I thought so too. We will walk in pairs. Pair. So if you haven't chosen a partner yet, it's the right time to do so. Pioneers quick felt the idea and started to match pace. Looks like I was the only one without a pair. Oh, I have to pair with the teacher. All of it. Slavery was enthusiastically to say since something was all good. Lena was with Miku. Oh, okay, I can understand that. Miku would be all alone, so Lena, her roommate, went with her. Okay, well, nice guy, Lena. Electronic, of course, was Troy. What well, might not be a bad idea to go alone after all. Semyon! The voice of the camp leader pulled me out of my thoughts. Came up to her with reluctance. I see that you haven't found a pair. <laughs> no, I have a pair! She's just invisible. She's. She's a, she's a cat girl. Man. Seems like it. Then you'll turn Xenia. She's a ah, man. Xenia. She's a lone doom. I shook with a special kind of despair that only a true loner can experience. Despair. <laughs> that's how my dog got up. You know, despair over hope. That's what I always say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that just reminded me of Kami Geniuses. He's the guy who always posts that, um, what, what's that style of, um, like, it's a picture of Lana that says hope at the bottom, it's, it's kind of, is it like an old, like a propaganda kind of thing, um, hope, um, uh, yeah, searching propaganda hope um, brings it up with a, with Obama on it, so, uh, yeah, it's like a propaganda kind of style thing, um, yeah, they're, 
I, according to know your me know your meme it actually started with um, Barack Obama's campaign in 2008 it says <laughs> the more you know <laughs> so it appears that I'm a, I'm the castaway as the Yeti uh, there's two teams so I mean I don't know <laughs> Yeti library <laughs> like the abominable snowman that I won't risk spending a couple of hours with even if I was paid for it Although, we seem to be in the same boat now. Slowly approach then, yet. Well, I guess we'll be going together. She looked up at me. Don't you even think I'm glad? Said then, yet, seriously. Why on earth should he feel glad? He asked naively. Never mind. It wouldn't be much better if you just shut up. Eh, I couldn't get better than this. She turned her back on me and followed the other pioneers. Oh boy. Hold on, let me take a drink. Oh, I'm almost out. As I mentioned earlier, my voice is killing me. How long have I been recording this? I, I don't know. I lost track of time. Let's go keep going for two more minutes and then it'll call it a stop there. Anyways, we walked up on the Trident Forest Trails and it was quite difficult to get lost here if I even if I wanted to. Actually, no. Never mind. I'm going to stop here because the, la the last video just finished rendering is 26 minutes. <laughs> That's pretty... You know, I usually send it sticks to, you know, 15 to 20. So, you know, that's pretty long to me. So, see you guys later. Die, Baba, Geek, Kai. Um, stay tuned. We're almost into the game. I've heard there's six days. So, you know, this is the end of day. Well, nearing the end of day five. You know, so we're almost done. Well, with Lennox, go. Well, we'll see if we'll keep going. You know, kind of, kind of just matters, you know. See you guys later. Bye.